Ripping that bandage off? Well, you might not have to worry about that anymore. Penn State Department of Food Science found a process that spins starch into fine strands and could take the sting out of removing band-aids and produce less expensive and more environmentally friendly toilet paper, napkins, and other products. Using a solvent to dissolve the starch into a fluid, long strands are spun and can be woven together as one would for a textile. Starch is the most abundant and least expensive of all natural polymers, so it would be a highly cost-effective, not to mention green development. On the sweet side of things, bandages would over time turn into glucose or sugar, a substance naturally and safely absorbed by the body, making the pain of taking these bandages off a sweeter experience. When people imagine the future, we all imagine robots. Not necessarily what happens to those robots when they break down and can't work again. Poor robots. But two British researchers have their eyes on the big picture and are working towards a solution. Currently, robots have to be recovered quickly once they're non-functioning, because the metals and plastics they're built from are not only non-biodegradable, they're often toxic. Dr. Jonathan Rossiter from the University of Bristol and Dr. Loannis Leropoulos from the University of the West of England have just begun a two-year research project to figure out how to make future robots biodegradable. They're both members of the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, one of the best think tanks in the world for robot development. And once they've succeeded, robotics can progress much more quickly because the need to track and recover robots comes with a high price tag. Until we have green robots, we're just going to have to recycle, reduce, and reuse. And be thankful. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Thank you.